we want the car to look like pure sculpture when it's done. It needs to be appreciated in its most optimal aesthetic. Performance cars are definitely all about form follows function, but I would say beautiful form follows performance driven function. We work real hard on finding what could be new in that combination. That's the difference between, I think, just pure art and what design is. There is that serious functional aspect to it. In order to reach those peak levels of performance, it can't just be pure styling. Every millimeter on this car is intentional and done with purpose. A beautiful weapon, if you will. That really leads into the whole relationship between aero and, and design. You can't do a Corvette without good collaboration. In general, there's no change that we do in here that's not performance-based, not functional. We were able to lower the roof about a half inch, but we also widened the car a half inch to improve handling and grip, per se. If your front end isn't quite right, it doesn't matter what you do downstream of the car. So that we will always want to start working with the plan view shape of the corner, making sure our, our air dam is, is right. The radiator on this car is actually pointed forward to enable that airflow to go through the front end opening. From there, the air will flow through here and then is ducted directly out through this special vein outlet. So this really enables a slight drag improvement, but also a huge front lift reduction as well. We're also managing the airflow to the front brakes, keeping the brakes cool for, for not only street, but track conditions. When you're asking the air to leave the car, that means that now all these surfaces become critical. These rear quarter inlets are for transmission and differential cooling. So it's very efficient by having it back here We work a lot with imagery and models, but there's such a reward when you see that car coming off the line or you actually see the running car, it's a big thrill.